Hey guys, so this is Dale with Triple F Firearms. Once again, I wanted to do a real short video for you guys. You know, we're just a little manufacturer. We don't uh, we do not do pawn shop stuff, so we don't get a lot of weird stuff come across our bench. But every now and again, something comes into the shop of interest and I wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to ask you this question because I'm now asking it to myself. How do you store your ammunition? So here's how the story goes. There was a local house here uh, about December-ish, we're thinking, about three months ago. Caught fire, burned down. So we've got a contact with the construction company that's finally there tearing it down. And the homeowner gave him a couple of bins, uh, a couple of cans of uh, ammo cans and some ammunition that he wanted us to dispose of. I wanted to share this with you of what we found of these ammo cans that had gone through the fire and then of course were filled up with water from the fire department. So take a look at one of these first ammo cans. It's uh, definitely showing signs of being in the fire. I'm not sure if that dent came from uh, the heat or what, but uh, there's a lot of uh, buckshot left down in there. We got a can over here, also saw a lot of heat. There's about 100, 150 rounds of uh, 556 on stripper clips in there. I don't know, man, that, that's a lot of rust, a lot of uh, corrosion on there. Is that three months worth of sitting in the fireman's water? Maybe, but not a whole lot of heat damage on there. You can see those were all green tips. There's a, you know, a whole can of junk in there. But that's mostly appears to be ruined from water. So, one of the things we found inside this can was a box of uh, steel shot, waterfowl shot. And I wanted to show you some of the stuff that come out of there. I mean, some of it looks shootable, okay? But in that same box, you've got melted shotgun shells, primers unfired, powders in there, with all the buckshot came out. Look at this one. Buckshot is melted right in there to the plastic and the primer, but it's unfired. So, all of those shells came out, of, even the ones that look half decent. You can see they're pooched up there on the top. I would not recommend firing them. We're going to destroy all of these. Um, loose in that bin were these. Uh, three inch magnums. Some of them don't look bad. A little bit of corrosion on that aluminum. But then look at this one, you know. That one's about to burst from the heat. None of these primers have gone off. Interesting. Over here we had another box that uh, definitely you can see that it, the box itself saw some heat, okay. There were slugs in here. And like I say, you go from one that doesn't look awful to something like that. Unfired. Melted that shell right around that slug. Look at this one. You can still see the gunpowder in there. Started to melt it. Here again, primer is unfired. Another box that was in there, you can see it's got some discoloration on it. These guys, you know. Being the Scottish guy I am, I'm probably going to pop a cap on these guys. I don't know. None of the ones in these other than a little bit of corrosion around the, uh, around the brass. These shells look pretty good. I also wanted to show you these then. You know, you can see that 
That box there got a little too hot. Started to burn that up off of there. But if you look inside here, you know, that box looks pretty untouched. And so other than corrosion, I don't know how wet these things got, but other than corrosion, well, now, look at that one. Look what I just found in that box. That melted that gel from the heat. So, most of the stuff in these boxes is real suspect. We're probably going to destroy them all. Certainly have to inspect each and every round. None of these I don't think would function in one of our uh, magazine-fed shotguns. Maybe a tube, tube shotgun or a... But I've saved the best for last. Now, I haven't really got into this box. So we're going to all open it together because it's, it's in a sad state of affairs. These are uh, 1,400 feet per second. I would have loved to have kept some of these, but... This guy is gone, gone. Look at this. And look at them primers, guys. Hmm. How wild is that? Melted just about every one of them shells. And didn't set a single one of them off. So, that's, uh, that's my little short video. You got to question yourself, how do you store your ammunition? Because, boy, this really makes me think. Now, this was in that can, allegedly. So, it's interesting. Emptied some of them right out of there. Not a single primer that I have found has been set off. All right, guys.